Hey guys, Roy here. So tonight what I'm going to do is I am going to varnish this large David Bowie portrait. It's my Ziggy Stardust. If you've seen some of my other videos, you've seen me working on this. It's actually had quite a lifespan on it. I've worked on it during two, two video paintings and then a live painting at an event. And then I've also painted in my garage. This one's been around for about a month now. I've been working on it. So it's finished now. So the final step is going to be put a, a varnish on it. What I'm going to use tonight is Liquitex Satin Varnish. I usually use a high gloss, but I'm kind of coming off that one for a little while. So testing out different ones. So this one, I'm going to use this large automotive sponge. Now then, I use it over and over and over again, but what I do is I rinse it out with water after each time I use it. And so then when I'm about to use it again, I put water in it, squeeze as much as I possibly can. And then when I've done that, I take a paper towel and I still get all that dampness off. I want it, I want it to be no drips. You want no drips for this. And these things can hold a ton of water. You wouldn't believe it. So this one's good to go. It's still soft. After a while, sometimes they'll get kind of crusty if you wait too long to rinse them out. So what I'm going to do is most of the times you take a brush and go up and down, up and down, up and down. Well, that to me, that just takes too long and it leaves some weird streaks. So I'm going to use the sponge. And what you'll do, you'll put the varnish directly onto the sponge. Then you'll just in circles. You'll go in circles. Now then, this one is highly textured because I did this as a drizzle technique. So you might not be able to see it from there, but it's pretty textured. So I'm going to go light on the varnish and I'm also going to rub it in for a while and reverse my directions and go all different directions. I don't want any of this pooling up anywhere. So we'll just go ahead and get started. I'm just going to do it in sections as I go around. So you can kind of watch, get an idea. So I just pour some of that on there like that. Now this is going to come in handy with this particular painting. Because half of it was acrylics like you'd use on a normal painting and half of it was wall paints that you'd get from Lowe's and use on your wall. So when they're together you can you can look and tell the difference in the paint. The actual acrylic paint has a much higher gloss to it. Reflective quality. But, once you do this, it kind of all blends together quite nicely. Always get the side too. So you just keep reapplying. Make sure it doesn't pool up anywhere. It's actually not been a problem at all on this one. Because even though it's heavily textured, it's still kind of smooth. It's not jagged. If this was jagged, I'd have real problems, but this seems to be working out really well. As you can see, this goes fairly quickly. I'm using the glare from the lights right above me, seeing the spots I've missed. Sides. And you have to be careful when you do the sides that it doesn't leave a little streak across the edge. So, I mean, that's it. I'm going to let this dry for a little while. Then I'll come back and check it out, see if I've missed any spots sometimes happens, or if something just doesn't look right, you can just go back and do another coat, and it looks just fine. So, 
That's how to varnish a large acrylic painting on Roy Laws. Check out my website at roylawsart.com or check me out on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest. I'm everywhere. Tumblr, Flickr, everywhere. Just check me out and try this yourself.